Welcome to the Top-Down RPG Template Video Tutorial Series. In these videos, we will create an RPG game together using the provided template. For more information about the template's features, please refer to the documentation. In this video, we will cover the project setup. Let's get started. To begin, create a new folder to house your blueprints. Next, open up the project settings and ensure that the game instance is set to RPG game instance. Additionally, make sure that the custom depth stencil pass is set to enabled with stencil. We will need three levels for our project, so let's create a folder for them. Then, create a new level for character selection by pressing Ctrl plus N. Set the game mode to character selection game mode. Create another level for the main menu and set the game mode to main menu game mode. Finally, create a level for gameplay and set the game mode to RPG game mode. In the Character Selection level, place Character Selection Spawn Location Blueprints into the level. These locations will show player characters during the character selection process. Next, place the character selection pawn blueprint and adjust its position so that all the characters are visible. Set all the character selection spawn location references in its array. Additionally, place the RPG post process blueprint into the level. This blueprint will highlight characters when the mouse is hovered over them. Press play to check the camera position and pilot the camera to get a better view. In the Main Menu level, place a Main Menu Character Location Blueprint and the Main Menu Controller. Set the main menu widget reference, character location reference, and make sure that the character selection level name matches the level we created before. Place the main menu pawn and adjust its position.
Press play to check the camera view. In the gameplay level, add a player start and a navigation mesh. ensuring that the navigation mesh covers the play area. In the project settings, set the runtime generation to dynamic for the navigation mesh and increase the max supported agent limit to 10,000 if it is not already. Place the RPG post process blueprint into the level. And add a target point for the town portal feature. Place the quest controller Waypoint controller And a battle controller blueprints Adjusting the settings as desired and making sure to set the references Don't forget to set the battle controller reference on the quest controller. Finally, check the collision settings to see if a minimap trace channel exists. If it does not, download the file provided in the video description and import it into your project. If you press play, you will notice that there are three default characters that can be selected. We will create new characters in the next video. However, for now, you should be able to control a character in your gameplay level. If you start the game in the main menu level and create a new character, when you return to the main menu, you will notice that it loads another level. This is because the Swordsman starts in Act 1, which loads a specific level. We will cover how to change this in another video. Thank you for watching.